Hi, my name is Josh Kallenberg, and I'm here at the Van Nuys Airport in Los Angeles, California. I've been flying professionally for about 13 years, and now I have the pleasure of flying this Gulfstream G450, which is a lot of fun and exciting. And today, I'm going to talk to you about becoming a pilot. So when getting started, one of the things you have to consider is are you near an airport or do you have the ability to get to an airport because that's where most flight schools are located. So one thing to consider when you're researching your flight schools is to pre-purchase some of the study materials, most likely for the private pilot certification. That kind of gets you started and you're familiar with what you're going to have to deal with. Also, which is what I did, go ahead and maybe get a flight simulator for your computer and start to play with that. You know, it's not completely realistic, but they're getting pretty good. And at least, again, it gives you an idea of some of the things you're going to be encountering in your training. Whether you've decided you want to uh, do this professionally or as a hobby, uh, you do have a uh, few options uh, for your flight schools. Uh, some are on a more relaxed uh, program. Some are on an accelerated program. The relax is kind of at your own pace. The accelerated program uh, is a very structured, rigid program. To get started with your basic certifications, if you just want to do it as a hobby, somewhere around $5,000. Uh, if you want to do it as a career, it could cost up to $55,000, $60,000. Just depends on how far you want to go. 